Thank you, viewers. I am Tutor Cletus Okoli. In today's math class, we shall be evaluating this exponential equation. Here we are given that if x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100, then we should get the value of x. Watch the video to the end. And if it is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel. God bless you. We dive in. The question we are given is to simplify x to the power of x to the power of 5 equal to 100. I want us to start from the right hand side. We start from the right hand side. First and foremost, we will write this 100 in index form. And that should be x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 2. This is the result we have. Then, we are going to multiply both sides of the power by 5. I want us to multiply both sides of the power by 5. And that will be for us x to the power of x to the power of 5. Everything to the power multiplied by 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 2 also multiplied by 5. So, this is where we are. Now, let us remember the law of uh, indices where we have that x to the power of m or to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m n. What it means is that the power inside the bracket will multiply the power outside the bracket. It is a law of indices. If we bring it here, it is going to be for us, from the right hand side, we shall multiply the powers, which is 2 will multiply 5. And by the left hand side, the power x to the power of 5 will multiply the power outside the bracket, which is 5. Also, I want you to know that a multiplication is commutative, that this x to the power of m n can also be written as x to the power of n m. They are equal, very, very equal. Okay? That is the commutativity of multiplication. Alright? We can also write it as x to the power of n, everything to the power of n. They are all equal. And going by that, since I can interchange the powers from what we can see from the end here, it implies that I can also interchange the powers here. I have outside the bracket power 5 and inside the bracket I have power x to power 5. Therefore, I can now write by the left hand side. Interchanging the powers, I will have x to power 5. So the 5 outside the bracket has gone inside the bracket. Then everything outside now x to the power 5. This is what I will have. I just did this. I have this. Then written like this. The n inside the bracket goes outside. The n inside the, outside the bracket comes inside the bracket. That is exactly this. And that is what I have done here. Then by the right hand side, since I have mn equal to nn, okay, it is equal, it is a multiplication. I can now multiply the right hand side to have 10 to the power 10. Very beautiful. That is 2 times 5. The next thing that I will do, I want you to see this law. The law that says that if I have n to the power n equal to n to the power n, it implies that the base will be equal. 
That means n should be equal to n. What that means is that since I have here x to the power 5, let it be my n, and in the, to the power of x to the power 5, which is another n. In other words, what I have as the base, which is x to the power 5, is exactly what I have as the power, which is also x to the power 5. Therefore, by the right hand side I have the base as 10 and the power as 10. We can now conclude that the base is equal to the base. That is, the base by the left is equal to the base by the right. Therefore, we write like this, this is equal to this, and of course, the power also is equal to the power. Therefore, we write x to the power 5 is equal to 10. Beautiful. And remember that I am looking for x. And now that I have x to the power 5 by the left, equal to 10. To remove this 5 from x, I will simply multiply the power by the left hand side by 1 over 5. And the same thing will be done to the right hand side to balance the equation. And that becomes x to the power 5 multiplied by 1 over 5. And to the right hand side, I also have 10 to the power of 1 over 5. So 5 can cancel 5 here to give me x equal to 10 to the power of 1 over 5, which is the same thing as the fifth root of 10. In conclusion, the value of x as we are requested to find here is equal to the fifth root of 10. Final answer. But then, I want us to evaluate the answer that is to substitute our answer into the position of x in the question that we are asked to see if it will give us exactly what we have by the right hand side which is 100. Doing that, I will now have my x written as x to the power of x to the power of 5 equal to 100. Anywhere I see x, I put the fifth root of 10 and that is the fifth root of 10 written like this to the power of the fifth root of 10 okay uh, let's put it well all right the fifth root of 10 to the power another fifth root of 10 or to the power 5 is it equal to 100 now let's start from the power all right you can see from here that 10 to the power 1 over 5 is written, 10 to the power 1 over 5 is written as the fifth root of 10. Meaning that I can write this my fifth root of 10 as 10 to the power 5. Therefore, I will now have the fifth root of 10. Then, by the power side, this my fifth root of 10 can now be written as 10. That is already a power 5. Then, multiply by 1 over 5. Is it equal to 100? But then 5 can cancel 5 to give me the fifth root of 10 or to the power of 10 left at the numerator. Also, if I move further, I will now have what will look like this. The same fifth root of 10 can also be written as 10 to the power of, I have 10 already there. Then multiply by because of the fifth root, I have 1 over 5. Is it equal to 100? Going forward, 5 can cancel 10 to give me 2. So I have 10 to the power 2. Is it equal to 100? Yes. The answer is yes. That 10 to the power 2 is equal to 100. And 100 is equal to 100. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. God bless you. Sit.